Big game, uh, Twickenham, just a few days away. How's the mood around the, uh, around the camp? Presumably it's a game that everyone's been looking forward to for a long time. We're in a situation whereby you know, we're playing for pride and for entertainment, this and that, rather than you, you, we're not in the top six, and hopefully that may come off. Um, but what fascinates me is you've got you know, statistically one of the best defences in the league against a, a team which is getting its tails up over the last few, few weeks, has had massive improvements and scored 50 points last weekend. Yeah, we scored you know, I think it's 12 tries in three games. So um, you know, it should be a good spectacle. And hopefully, let's face it, it's a good day and a, a good day out at Twickenham. We get lots of people coming to support, which are the overall aim is obviously St George's Day to celebrate St George's Day and also to champion the causes of some people who uh, need some help. Yeah, the word heroes, say it about our, our sporting stars, but it's the guys who are out in, in places like Afghanistan who are the real heroes. Whether you agree with the uh, whether they should be over there or not, they're just doing their jobs on a professional basis and fighting for freedoms we take for granted. So, um, yeah, I mean, anything you can do to lift these guys, it certainly puts your life in, into perspective. You're playing on big stages and you get big crowds and television audiences, anything which can help raise some money for these guys. And the sad state of affairs is we have to rely on our society. These guys have to rely on charity to, to support them. But that's the, the situation we're in and therefore we try and help where we can. The match here is an awesome event and it sparks a, a lot of interest and enthusiasm from the guys out here very quickly. Um, the the two, two main elements that I say that really got people behind it were the fact it's raising money for a lot of good causes uh, for people back in the UK that have suffered as a result of either their loved ones being injured or, or losing their loved ones tragically out here. And secondly, it's just reminding hopefully the public in the UK of the, the contribution we're doing our best to make uh, out in Afghanistan and obviously hopefully for the benefit of those back home in the UK in terms of national security. These charities are vital, particularly as this conflict has gone on. They've been out in Afghanistan for 10 years now. There are hundreds of, uh, of wounded, as well as the families of those that have had uh, their loved ones tragically killed out here. And all of them do need support uh, in many different forms. And clearly that support doesn't come cheap. Uh, so anything we can do to make lives uh, better for those back in the UK that have suffered would be, uh, would be a great difference. I think the case for Saturday is to try and get as many people in the, in the gate as well and do it in a fun way that's not, not hugely sombre. That's what I'm hoping for on Saturday, it's a nice fun day, not a sombre attitude. And actually, hopefully we can have a good game of rugby and fingers crossed we can win it as well.